Hi everyone, in this video we will create a CRUD app using React with Redux. Okay, so we will, it will be the end result that we have. Let's for example create a new user and let's assign it. submit it so the new record has created okay id number four and the new record has created so let's edit it let's update it see the record is updated let's delete it the record has deleted okay so we will perform this operation using react with redax toolkit so let's get started so for this CRUD operation, first of all, we should install those um, important packages that we will use in this project. So let's come here. Uh, we will install npm install react redux. This is the first package, and the second one is the Rea uh, art redux j slash toolkit. It is the second one that we will use redux j toolkit. The toolkit provides us a function which has the collection, which is the collection of all things okay we will later discuss that, discuss that and also bootstrap part designing and react router dom for routing so these are the packages that uh, we will install so i have already installed them let's see them see package.json we have i have all of these okay so after installing these so first we will um, set up our redux environment okay to use the redux what we need and what we will do the first thing is that we should uh, uh, use the provider for all our uh, components okay to access the store so we will come to the main.js i have created this component okay the main it is the main uh, component in our react app okay and app.js oh, create home and update we will perform this operation first come to the main.jsx First, we will import the provider from our um, React Redux. Okay, the provider that we will wrap all our component uh, through this provider. Okay, let's use it. How to use this provider? Just come here, provider, and just cut it and paste it here. All our component will be inside the provider. And now, this provider has a property by the name of store. Okay, so to this store, we should pass. Uh, a store okay in that store we will store all our data public data that we would like to store in that so how to use that for that we will just import so for that we will uh, configure store okay redux js toolkit we will import this one from that okay after importing to uh, configure store so now we will use that so to use that we will simply write const store is equal to configure store and we will pass to this the reducers okay we will pass all our reducer to this configure store the reducers that we have for example right now we would like to create the users we have a reducer for the users if you have another module like teacher student and something else you should create another user reducer for that so now we just have the user uh, reducer so we will simply write like this so right now we don't have we didn't set up the user reducer i will comment it okay so let's pass the store to this store okay yeah it is okay now this functionality has done with us just later we will import our user whenever we create that reducer okay so now let's create this reducer okay so let's create another file user reducer dot jsx so here we will use the um, slice sir function which is provided by the redux js toolkit let's import that create slice yeah we will import this function from this redux js toolkit this function is a collection of all we will pass to this name and the initial values and all the re reducers and action state everything is inside this function so now let's use it so const user slice is equal to create slice and we will pass this first of all the name what is the name of this one for example the first one is the user with us and the initial value for this the initial state we will pass the initial state to this and also the reducers okay here we will write our actions 
and uh, here we will pause the initial videos yeah for this initial data i wrote some data statically okay this data file we have this data a list of users so let's import it in the user reducer user list after importing it so let's assign it to our initial state we will write like user list okay so now let's move to our home page and we should render these users okay it means it means that we should display these user on our home page so let's come here let's yeah i will just try some design for this using bootstrap So I wrote this code okay for home page. So now let's render our user list here, here. Okay, we will display our data here. This is just the header that we created, and here we will render our data. So to use this data, it means that this initial state, this user list. So let's first of all we should import user. Uh, let's import use selector hook. Okay, use selector hook from React Redux. Okay. It will give us the access to this uh, let's come here to the main to this reducer okay that we have so uh, after importing this so now let's use it const users is equal to we will use use selector hook and inside this we will have a state and we will use it state dot users the reducer that we have here okay in our main dot yes, this uh, reducer that users okay so let's it's okay so now let's assign a reducer to this so let's first of all come here and we will import uh, sorry export export default user slice dot reducer yeah after importing exporting it let's import it in our main .js. user import user reducer from user reducer okay we have imported it so now let's assign it to our user let's uncomment this and we will assign that here yeah we have we assigned that here so now we can access this users inside uh, using this use selector hook so whenever we access this so now let's first of all console it console.log users that we have okay this user that we have so let's run our server how it looks like looks like let's run it in the run new so let's move to this url see it looks like this okay so let's move to the um, console which we have specified see we have this array see we have this uh, records those three records so now let's display them so to display them let's come here we will just use map function users that map and here we have user and then index we will just return a table row and the index the key for this is the index and inside it uh, we will just use table data and here we will just write a user dot first we will display the id user dot id and also the name then the email uh, after that uh, for this action we will create two buttons okay for the edit and delete this will be edit let's assign a class name to this uh, button button sm and button primary. primary these are the most of classes so let's delete for the delete create one another delete and this would be danger 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 okay margin start would be two yeah let's check it how it looks like yeah it looks like this good okay so we render the data so now whenever we click this uh, um, create we should go to another component and here we should create another uh, user okay so for that we will use react router dom okay react router dom whenever we click this we should go to create component so let's come to after JSIC. we will use our react router dom aim here import browser router then routes and route 
and come here just remove this let's use browser router inside that uh, we will use routes inside that we will use route and this route uh, to the, for this route this is for home okay the path parameter is equal to just slash and element is equal to with home this is the home and let's create for our create our create component okay let's assign this and this would be create so let's come here to the create and write something yeah this is the create let's import it sorry uh, let's come here yeah we imported it so let's assign it now here instead of home yeah now let's use our um, link here instead of button we should change it to the link react router dom property okay that has imported from react router dom and also we should use two uh, property and we should assign here the route create that we had here okay this create route okay so now whenever we press this button create plus we should go to the create component see we have came here so now we should display here a form so to fill that we should create a new user so let's come here to the create and we will create a form here so I have created this form in foot field for name and in foot field for email and a submit button. So now let's check it how it looks like. Yeah, it looks like this. So let's add uh, some text here. Uh, other new user. Yeah, it's okay. It looks like pretty good. So now we where we enter the data. So we should, uh, by pressing the submit, we submit, we should create a new user. So let's come here. Just, uh, we should assign a placeholder here. So first we should store these videos, okay? Whenever when we are writing some video in this input field and in this we should store them somewhere. So let's do that. Const name set name is equal to use state hook for that to store the value by default. I think and also this would be for email and set email. And after that uh, let's store the values in that. So for that let's come here unchain event and we will use create a function and set name e.target.value and the same thing we will write for email let's copy this Sorry. just come here and paste it instead of set name we will write set email yeah it is done we stored our values in name and email after storing that whenever we press the submit button we should call a function let's come here to add a submit event and we will call handle submit let's create this function here okay const and the submit is equal to it in event let's create this function event dot print default It will prevent the default submission and after that uh, we will just uh, use a reducer okay we will use in action we will create in action here and we will call that from this uh, uh, function handle submit function let's first of all create uh, a new reducer here that would be add user and we should get a state from that in an action and here we will just update our user list so let's console our uh, action okay console.log action what we are getting in action so let's use this add, uh, uh, user action action so first of all we should import it export it export and const let's uh, add user is equal to um, user slice dot actions we will export it from this from actions yeah let's uh, import it at the create functionality first add user yeah import it from user reducer and also we should um, import dispatch 
simply write use dispatch okay dispatch from react redux and to dispatch in action let's use that const dispatch is equal to use dispatch and after that let's use it here we will write uh, and that's yeah, we input it to our user so let's write dispatch our user and we will pass an object to this the object, object will contain id and a name and email okay we can simply write assign name to name and email to email we will assign this name and email to this name and email okay but we can simply just write for short hand like this okay just email and name okay but for the id id should be unique with us okay so to get the unique list it means that to add a unique id it means for example we have now three cards to add the fourth one so for that we will first of all get the length of these users and after that we will add one to that so to get the length we will use uh, use selector hook use selector hook we imported that and we will just use uh, as how we yeah like this we will just use copy that and paste it here now we will just access the length of our users so to access that we will just try something like this okay uh, users users dot length uh, minus one okay because based on indexing we should minus one from that uh, dot id plus one okay we will um, access the length of the ids then we will plus um, one with that okay so let's let's uh, press the uh, um, submit button what happened yeah let's come here yeah let's enter a name let's enter a name okay we have entered that so let's press the submit button we should go to our console what we are getting at the in the result let's come here yeah let's press submit see in the action we got this okay type in the payload in the payload we got email id and name okay this is the result that we printed here okay in the user id store console.lab okay as we have printed here so now we should directly uh, assign state uh, dot push action dot payload we will push our payload to this uh, state okay this user list and after that whenever we push that uh, we should go back to our um, home page so for that uh, let's come here to the home page we will use use navigate hook from react router dom so to use that we will just simply write let's remove this okay uh, simply write uh, const navigate is equal to use navigate that has imported from react router dom and let's use it now Oh, sorry, we should use it in the create uh, component here. Yeah, let's come here. Let's put it here. Uh, React auto down. Use navigate. Yeah, that has imported. Okay, so let's use it now. After that, we should navigate back to our home route. Okay, to this, this route to our home component. So let's try it. Yeah, let's enter for example. Uh, let's remove this. Enter a name and enter a name. Email. Let's submit it. See, we came here and a new record has added here. The fourth one. Okay, the ID is fourth and the new record has added. Let's try another one. Just use it. Yeah. Submit it. See, the fifth record has added to our list. So now we did our uh, functionality of creation. So now whenever we press this edit, we should edit a record. So let's come here for that. And come here to the home and come here to this button. This should be link. Okay, we should go to uh, an edit, um, update component. By clicking on that, we should assign a link to this. And link should be imported from React Router DOM. Okay, that has imported. And let's use two is equal to we should go to um, edit and also we should pass an id to that so to pass the id we will write like this okay let's change this 
like this and we will pass our id with that with user.id yeah we fast our id with this route let's create this route now come here and just copy this and this should be edit and after edit uh, we are getting an id we will write like this yeah this is the route for that let's use the update component Let's uh, come here to a bit, write something in that. Yeah, let's come here and import that. Update from update. That is okay now. So now we should, whenever we click on the update edit, we should go to edit complete. Okay, we came here. Now we should create um, a forum for that, and inside that forum, we should get the videos. So let's first of all create a forum for that. The forum is the same to create as we have created okay the same forum we will use we will just copy this okay let's just copy this one we will use the same forum here and whenever we come here just let's remove it okay let's remove this and also remove this and remove this and submit okay let's update user and this should Yeah, let's check it now. Yeah, it looks like the update user. So we should you now get the videos. Okay, the user that we would like to update, we should get the name and the email for that. So to get that, let's come here. And we should first of all um, grab the ID from parameter. So to grab the ID, we will use use forum hook from React Router DOM. We will write like this const ID is equal to use forum hook. We will take the ID from the router. Okay, see this ID, the one that we have after getting this so now we will again come here and we will get all the users list as we have get it here using use selector hook we will get all the um, users so let's import use selector that has imported and we will get all the users so now we will um, just let's come here and here we will write so const uh, existing existing user is equal to now we will use filter function okay users dot filter if, if dot id was equal to equal to with the id that we as okay when you were the the record take that record which has the id that we have passed okay just take that record and assign that to here and just let's write take the name and email from existing user okay we will just it is an array with us so we will just try to zero okay from this array it, it will return an array so from this the first record access uh, get the name in the email so now let's write two variables as we had to create okay as we had here we will let's copy this and we will create them here and we will assign by default the name here and also the email and let's change this uh, update name and update email okay so now let's check it that uh, we let's uh, assign here the values value is equal to with the u name update name and also here value is equal to with the update email let's check it now uh, where is the error use state hook is not imported so let's import it use state hook uh, that has imported uh, use selector has imported yeah i think there is nothing else let's check it where is the error oh uh, yeah where is the error let's come here cannot distract property name of existing user as it is undefined so let's come here Filter if dot id was equal to equal to with the id. Yes, so first of all, we should correct this name. Okay, this name was unspilled, misspilled. Okay, after that, let's remove one equal from this. Okay, so it will work now. Let's check it. See, we have this. Okay, we have this the 
the first one let's back and press for example on this one see we have that so now whenever we update this so we should uh, let's update our values uh, here okay whenever we are unchanging on change event we will call and on change is equal to we will create a function uh, and we will call set name I think yeah set name yeah set name and e dot target dot value we will pass this value and also to the email let's come here try that uh, set email yeah so whenever we change the value and press the update button so we should uh, uh, again update our records okay for the addition we will come here and we will create a new uh, action here so before that let's come here to the uh, update let's bring it here and here we will uh, whenever we press this button we should call a function just come here and submit and all update let's create this function now const also control p update is equal to with an event create this function by default prevent uh, prevent prevent default submission and after that again we will call the edit user or update user action so let's create that update user we will get a state and action yeah let's import it export it this uh, after exporting this let's import it here as we have imported um, so let's import it user update user okay that has imported update user has imported and also let's say import uh, use dispatch that has also imported let's use use dispatch const dispatch is equal to use dispatch and after that we will use that here now so here we will just just use dispatch and we will use uh, update user action and we will pass an object to that first of all the id id is the id that we have okay this id that we grab and the name is the update name and also the email is the update email yes that we have this name and update email so whenever we call this so now let's come here back to user reducer what we will do here now so first of all we will distract the id const id and name and also email from action dot payload after after grabbing that so let's find the updating user so we will write a const updating updating user is equal to um, state dot find uh, user user dot id was equal to equal to with the uh, id that we have okay find that record which has the id same to this id and after that if uuf is advice existed so just update the name of this to the name that we distracted and also uu dot email is equal to with the um, email that we have and whenever we update the record so after updating let's use a use navigation hook const navigate is equal to use navigate we will use this hook back to go back to home navigate and back go to home component to home route so let's check it let's come here yeah we have this let's update for example uh, the for the second one edit it Khalil Khan and let's have it Khalil Khan okay let's submit it see the record has updated here okay it was all about updation so now whenever we press the delete so we should delete her record so let's come here to the home component and to the delete button whenever we click this so we should delete a record so whenever we click on this on click we will handle delete 
we will create this function now and also we should pass id to this function okay let's create our own function and let's pass the id to the user that id we will pass it to the handle function so let's create that now let's come here and just and just um, const is equal to we will get the id and here we will just call a dispatch let's uh, use the dispatch const dispatch is equal to new dispatch that has imported okay and we will uh, use the dispatch and we should call the delete action so let's create that let's come here down delete user state and and here we will just uh, delete the user we will just write the same code like this but uh, this time we will just grab the id and whenever we find the uh, existing user so if it was existing we come here let's just filter that so to filter that we will use state at, uh, so we will return return state dot filter and this if dot id was equal to it was not equal to equal to with the id that we have just filter those record which has not the id same okay filter other records yeah so let's export it delete user and we will import it uh, in the home component delete user after importing it so let's use it now we use dispatch and we will pass delete user and we will pass an object we should have just the id so let's try it now let's for example fix the delete see that has a record has deleted okay let's create Submit it that has it deleted. Update, updated, deleted. So it was all about CRUD operation with the uh, in the React and Redux. We use the Redux toolkit. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel, like this video, and comment down. And finally, thanks for watching.